What's up YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Scott Wanger and you're watching The Life of Scott. So, we got an unboxing here and before I start the unboxing, I first want to go over that it's a tablet and I actually want to show you my first tablet I ever bought. It, well let me actually check here. It's a tablet by Chromo. Uh, it's called Noria. I paid $90 when it first came out and now they're like $40 on eBay and I thought this was really cool when it came out but it it just sucks. It's, it's a really bad <laughs> tablet because it is so slow the memory runs out very quick so decided let's upgrade this one is now a hundred dollar tablet well the android that's running it is like six versions better than that one and just has a whole bunch of other extras that claim it's good so we're gonna find out if it is if you want to know more about the tablet um, I will have details in the video description so Boy, they really put a lot of tape on this. Okay, here we go. So check out the description for that. So let's see what we got. Uh, on eBay, there was no brand listed other than Android. So we got an Android or a Droid uh, user guide here. So I don't think it says anything about what brand or whatever. So we got a USB charger looks like um, looks like we got a outlet plug for the USB charger so if you want to plug it into an outlet to charge it looks like we got a head headset so that's what they consider a headset it's just earphones um, okay so it's in this nice bubble wrap that's cool definitely keep it protected so let's set this stuff down here so far nothing yet about the actual brand so the, the screen's pretty big let me get the other tablet to show you guys so this is my second tablet I've ever owned so 32 gigabytes it has up here in the corner let me show you guys up closer just to get a better idea um, this is the back nothing on the back doesn't say any name or anything like that we got a camera right here uh, looks like the sound comes from the, both sides so we got two speakers on this we're going to keep the protective screen on for now. Um, I'm guessing. So on the side we got volume controls right here and we got another button that might be the power button. On the top we have our charge and port. Um, on the other side there is nothing. On the bottom there is nothing. So very plain and basic. Um, this looks like it could come off somehow I don't know let me see if I can show you guys see the lines like right up in here I don't know anyway uh, I'm guessing this is a power button so we're gonna press it and see if it powers on if not okay so what is that media tech So I will have it upside down for me so you guys can see it a lot better. We are going to zoom in more. So right about here. Android. Um, so Android is starting. Starting apps. So it's sideways now. <laughs> Okay, um, so it came up the screen, 
No si SIM card. You could put a SIM card in here. Huh. That's interesting. So, um, let's press the button. Uh, swipe to unlock. Alright. Okay. So, guys, I'm going to sh show you guys a little better here. So, we're going to rotate the camera and be back. Welcome back everybody. So, nice big screen. In fact, it's so big we got to zoom out even more. Um, wow. This is definitely a lot bigger. So, can go side to side. Um, of course, I don't have anything set up. This was the first unboxing and first starting. So, no Wi-Fi set up or anything like that. Battery says 100%. Uh, the camera. So let's open up the camera. Oh my word, this thing is... Oh, my hand must be... Oh, I'm holding it wrong, so... Oh my word, this camera is huge. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, it's... Wow. Okay. That is big. Uh, how do we go back? That? No. Oh, okay, so the buttons are down here. Somehow it got up on the side. Uh, because of the way I was holding it. So it looks like when you rotate it, some icons are on the bottom here. Sorry for the glare, that's really ridiculous. So let's zoom in here and see if we can get rid of this glare. I don't know. So, icons on the side, that's when you turn it over, looks like the icons go down there. So far, it looks pretty good, I mean, um, it opens everything up pretty quick. I don't know if it has any music on here. Um... Oh, that must have been my recording. I don't know, unless, unless this, it was the people who tested this. I don't know. Um, looks like we got a phone icon. No one is on your speed dial. Uh, okay, so you can use this as, what, a phone? If you have a SIM card? That could be why it said no SIM. Looks like contacts, looks like messaging, text messaging, what? Okay, um, looks like we can open up the internet. So, apps, where, okay guys, so that is uh, this tablet, apparently, which is pretty much almost like most, more like a phone in a way, um, apparently you can use it as a phone, but where would you enter the SIM card though, that would be, Another question, maybe you enter it. I know on phones you take out the volume button and or the volume control and it's there unless this slides out. No. <laughs> well, that would be for another time. I'm not going to use it for a phone, so... Definitely interesting though. I will get the internet set up on here and we will do a um, test and see how we can download apps and see what else we can do from there. <laughs> Alright, so my brand new gaming channel. Here we go. Let's zoom in a little bit here. So this is my new gaming channel. Let's load one of my videos full screen.
So it's loaded in the video perfectly fine. Um, what graphics setting are we running at? Let's see, where's that little icon? So this is a little different for the quality. So it's running at 720, 60 frames a second, which is the highest my video is under. So it's playing it perfectly fine until I just say that. Now it's not playing it perfectly fine. So, um, it's probably because I'm messing with everything. Let's, so that should go back. Okay, let's go back and just click another vid video. Or is the internet acting up again? We are really far away from my internet box, so that could be why we're having, yeah, we're having internet issues. So if you're too far away from your internet box, even though, okay, we're going to reset it. I turned it off, and now we're going to turn it back on. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I might have, have to set it for automatically connect. Again, this is not set up at all. So, all right, I'm going to turn away while we go to the internet settings here. And so there's no option to automatically connect, but that's all right. Um, okay, so we're now we're back. I disconnected and reconnected. And we're back up. So, okay. So far, what can I say? Um, Screen's huge, that's cool. Um, it seems to play videos in good quality with no issue. Uh, it's not pausing or freezing. It's, the controls are a little different to get used to, like, or if you're simple and this is your first tablet or second tablet and you're not used to all this stuff. Um, might take a little bit to get used to, so let's go to my main channel here. Internet's actually pretty fast for being as far away from the internet box. So that's, I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, so I guess the next step would be to download a game and test out actual gameplay. Uh, let's see how good quality the camera takes photos. So bring this up here. Oh my word, it's so big. Uh, we press this, I think. Okay, so the quality is HDR. What's that? Do not move device during HDR recording. I don't know. I, um... <laughs> Okay, uh, anyway, we're going to go to the photos that I just took, maybe. Oh, normal mode, face beauty mode. There is an actual face beauty mode. That is interesting. Okay, let's, where do we go back to see the actual photos? So, there's the photo. It is what it is. The quality's, you know, quality is okay. So not too bad. I mean, definitely not a cell phone quality. So again, let's go to the apps and the Play Store. Let's add that to the main screen here. I'm kind of holding it this way so we don't get the blur. If you guys have taken notice of that. So since we've been using it, doing all this stuff, it was 100%. We're now down to 94% battery life. So looks like I'm going to have to sign in all my fun stuff. So we'll be back. Okay, guys, we are back. And we are now on Google Play. So 
Of course, the game that I love playing is Clash Royale, or Royale, however you would like to say it. So that is what we're going to download. So let's see the download speed. That should be interesting. So it's pending. Pending. Forever pending. Internet connection keeps bouncing high, low, high, low. Does that mean it's... <laughs> I don't know. So, um, don't know what that was, but uh, it looks like mail. What? Okay, so we got mail, even though I didn't set up the mailbox on here. So we're still download pending, so I click, uh, Okay. I didn't think I clicked off it, but maybe I did. Okay, now it shows the download up in the top corner, so I'm not sure if Google had to... I don't know. So, now it's downloading. It says six minutes left. So we shall be back, guys. Update! So, um, it had said 53 minutes to download this game. Um, so I'm gonna take this down to right beside the internet box, and it should, you know, just go quickly, but who knows? So, be back. BRB. Back my little chicken nuggets, and it took less than 30 seconds when I got went downstairs to install. So let's bring up the game here, and the volume is overly loud. Now where's the control? Okay, we are re gonna reposition this camera a little better here, And we are going to zoom out a little bit here. My battery is almost dead on the camera. So we're probably not logged in. The game. Oh my. This app requires the latest version of Google Play. Okay. Guys. I'm going to install this, but from what I'm seeing... I can give a pretty much good review. Oh, it's installing really fast now. But I can give a pretty much, uh, like I said, a good review on this from just playing with it in my hands. <laughs> so guys, um, this tablet. Let's start off with the fact that it's massive. This is a massive tablet. I mean, you're not gonna, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's massive. So the tablet's massive, um, which can be nice if you got big hands. If you got little small hands, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be holding a lot versus a smaller tablet. Um, for the price, let's kind of base, my review is gonna be based around the price of this thing as well. Um, and I will have more internal details in the description about this tablet like the specs and stuff if you really want to dig into it um no let's turn the volume down while we're talking or while i'm talking to you guys um so as you can see it's the, the gameplay is really quick so we're gonna yes load my one account out of a hundred thousand accounts that I pretty much have for this game so okay we're gonna hold off my review until we play this game for very oh my gosh yes we know that's alright spend money whatever alright so very quick it's not pausing freezing lagging and again we're far away from the internet so you would think the internet would have an issue with that 
Yes, let's show how bad I am. <laughs> um, so, everything's very quick. As you can see, I'm flying through here. This is not s sped up or anything. Oh, this is my... Oh, this is my Wanger Time 89 account. Oh, that makes sense. I, I seriously have probably 15 Clash accounts that I play from time to time. Okay, so there the Wi-Fi signal came up, and now it's actually slowing down a little bit. So, if you got a good connection, you're not going to have any issues. Oops, looks like we are going to battle, and I did not try that. And it's trying to cancel, because I must have hit cancel as well. Anyway, so everything's very quick. So let's turn the volume down here and go into more details on this tablet. What happened to our little icons to go back? There we go. Ha. Okay, so I'm getting used to this thing. Okay, so size-wise, it's big. I like it. I like that it's big. So for me, it's not an issue. If you don't want a big tablet, this is probably not one you want to go with. Let's go with the fact the quality. Quality of the tablet itself, you know, cheap on the outside, nothing nothing fancy. So the outsides, you know, just plastic, nothing nothing cool designs or anything. In fact, look at that. It actually marks up pretty easy, if you can see right there, just by doing my fingernail. See those scratches? Now they're, they're coming off a little bit. Actually, actually, guys, those scratches did not really come out. And my fingernails, eh, you guys can't see it. But, okay, so in my fingernails, I bite my fingernails, so they're not long. So let's go into detail on that, actually. So it's going to scratch easy unless you buy a protector cover on the back. So that's what I would recommend doing because the cheap material on the back. Um, the screen seems nice. I mean, it seems durable. I would buy a screen protector for the screen because that would be a smart choice to do. So front and back screen protector, definitely. That would be my recommendation. Um, the speed of the apps, you know, opening apps and closing apps, I would give an A, A+. Plus. Now, again, we don't have much installed on here, but with 32 gigabytes, I think that is strictly internal gigabytes. I think you can also add a memory card as well, but with the 32 gigabytes internal, that's good. Um, it had 23 apps installed from, you know, factory, and it ran great. You saw we ran YouTube. It played videos excellent, um, minus my simple blonde, not blonde moments trying to figure it out um, so with that being said you know I give that an A uh, the gameplay and stuff if you know you got good connection I'm gonna give that an A overall I mean for the price it seems like a good tablet now that was Clash Royal so you know I don't know about how it's gonna handle some of these other even you know how do I say it? These other games that offer much more than Clash does. So you need a lot more processing and stuff. Um, but for that, it was fine. YouTube was fine. Seems like it's going to be good to run my YouTube Creator Studio app and stuff. Internet, you know, we actually, the browser, we didn't test out. Okay, yes, we see... Swipe to unlock. Oh, we gotta swipe up. I'm used to swiping to the side. Okay. So the internet browser. Okay, so we're signing Google. Okay, there we go. So let's Google. Here we got the browser up. Let's type in Scott is. Wow. Do I spell much? Is cool. Let's see what comes up under Scott is cool. All right, so Scott cool. You just got promoted, or you, 
not promoted. <laughs> you just got some publicity, advertisement, whatever. Um, so Google came up, everything great. Internet was pretty fast to go to different things. Let's check. Let's give this Scott Kenton cool. You're getting a shout out, whoever you are. So this is loading from Google to Twitter, and as you guys can see now, the speed. And again, this is actually being pretty far away from my internet box, so I'm actually very impressed with it, how it did that fast when I'm so far away. So with that being said, internet, very impressed with that aspect. Um, the phone and everything, I don't know. I mean, clearly you can put a SIM card in here and text message and stuff, so... That's interesting. We can put music on here. We didn't really have anything to test out the music part, but I'm sure that's fine. Um, opening apps like the Play Store, tap it and it pretty much comes right up. And that, again, that's with slow internet up, being upstairs. So overall, I'm going to have to give this like an 8 out of 10. I mean... I would say the biggest downfall could be for some people is it's too big and the quality on you know of the actual casing is really just junk because it scratches easy so I could imagine if you would drop this thing I would be a little scared so you probably don't want to drop this thing so you might want to handle with care so a 8 out of 10 guys is what I'm gonna give it based off of what I know now and what I see. I mean, for, and for the money? Battery's at 90%, so we've done all that and we lost 10% of battery. Now that was 100% from factory, so it might not have been 100%, so. Let me know if you guys want me to do any other reviews for anything else. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Please like this video and please share it. And you guys got to subscribe because you never know what else I'm going to come up with next. Then before we're gone, looks like we do have a front facing camera. So that it is about, oh my word. In fact, let me check here. The front facing camera is smaller than the front facing camera on this guy. So let me see if I can show you guys right there little camera right there in fact let's open it up and see how we reverse alright so you can't see me it just looks like well, that will be kinda cool I could talk without anybody seeing my they could see my face but they can't see my face okay <laughs> we are gone we are done Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'm going to repeat myself again, but you guys got to subscribe to my channel. You got to check out all my playlists. I got so many cool videos and so many cool videos coming up. Take care, guys. Don't forget, tell your friends about the life of Scott. And also, guys, it would mean a lot to me if you go subscribe to my channel. And also, click the little icon here to turn on notifications. That way, anytime I upload a new video, you guys get to see it so thank you guys very much and enjoy the rest of the video or check out all my other videos